here the students mature much earlier, who is accepted and who graduates from the Sumi Lyceum. Did you order elite alcohol? Law enforcers opened a bottling plant where fake brand spirits were produced. Receive a certificate in your hands and you're welcome on board. Specially assigned border guards completed a course on American boats. The National Academy of the State Border Service is in Khmelnytsky. The Center for Training Surgeons is in the Cherkasy Oblast. Sailors are trained in the Odessa Oblast and there is a guard dog training center in the Lviv Oblast. In addition, the Cadet Corps was established recently as a new talent factory of the State Border Guard Service. Today, the students of the Ivan Haritoninko State Boarding Lyceum in Sumy will graduate from the Cadet Corps wearing green berets. The institution is very proud of its long history. The Lyceum trained cadets, hosted an infantry school and later a higher artillery school. Over the years of independence of Ukraine, the Military Institute of Missile Forces and Artillery has been operating on the territory of this academy. Students of this modern academic institution wear uniforms, study, train during the day, enjoy a hefty and healthy meal in the cafeterias of the academy after a hard working day. Lyceum students are expelled for physical and emotional abuse of their classmates, gambling and the abuse of illicit drugs and alcohol. Those boys that completed the 7th or 9th grades can be accepted to the Lyceum. However, it's not enough to have only a desire to enter. Future defenders of Ukraine need to have an inquisitive mind, good health, love for sport and restrained character traits, because teenagers also have to eventually adapt to some form of military discipline. Alexander put on uniform after the 9th grade. When he turned 16 years old, he knew that he would serve at the border as a dog specialist. When I joined, I wanted to be a border guard. And after visiting the Sumi border unit, I decided that I wanted to become a canine handler. I really liked it and hoped that this would be the profession for me. Meanwhile, along with his fellow students, Alexander is studying military science. The outfit is right, camouflage, body armor, but the rifle is not exactly a combat model. The bandages on the guy's heads are not the Rambo style. The rifle gives impulses and sensors on the bandage fix hitting on target. While playing the laser tag game, we managed to hone our offense and defense skills. It looked like playing in mock battles, but in the format of the game, the Lyceum students learned the basics of military tactics. It is great experience for a future defender of a country, affected by external aggression. In addition to tactical shooting, young guys are taught to provide first aid. These lessons are best learned in practice. The guys play the roles of those who are injured and those who render first aid, and then they change places. This knowledge will be useful to everyone, be they a military person or a civilian. Young guys with difficult fates are accepted to the military academy. There are 32 boys with single parents and 16 orphans. Orphans include children of the diseased servicemen and children who were left without parents. There are those who know about military service firsthand. Among them is Ivan Meiko, the son of a border guard officer. He decided to enter the academy on his own. I decided to follow my father's footsteps to become a real defender. I was never interested in the art of war, but everything changed when the war began in Ukraine. This encouraged me to join the academy. Ivan, like nobody, understands what it means to be a military man. He often moved with his family across the perimeter of the country. However, the boy is not afraid of military life. After graduating, he plans to become a cadet of the Border Academy. And he's not the only one. 101 individuals want to continue their service, and 38 graduates decided to join the ranks of the service and the National Academy of the State Border Guard Service of Ukraine. While we have such a concerned young generation, we don't need to worry about the future of Ukraine. Previous releases focused on Assault Boat, Safe Boat 27. It has been successfully used by the US Coast Guard for 10 years. And now, with the assistance of American partners, Two such boats will guard Ukrainian borders. 
border guards began to master the maneuvering technique under overseas instructor's control. It's now time to find out what forces of the 10th Rapid Reaction Detachment Dozor have learned. American mentors speak about their progresses. It was equal, so the, the assault team was training simultaneously as, as the boat team was also training. The exercise program was developed in accordance with the realities of the Ukrainian border. The main part of the training is focused on detention of illegal migrants and search for contraband on ships. A special forces unit boards a vessel without unnecessary movements. and detains purported violators. American instructors are pleased with the results. Uh, amazing, amazing. They were, they were great when we got here, but they're better now. During training, there were up to a dozen Special Force soldiers on board, but this did not have a negative influence on the effectiveness of Safe Boat 27. The maneuverability of the motor boat did not worsen. It remained the same as if only two persons were on board. Mykola Zhiberev, son of the admiral who brought the Ukrainian border fleet out of the annex Crimea, also trained on the safe boat. He says that his father welcomed new boats in the service. According to Mykola, such equipment is multifunctional. Detention of pouches, monitoring of the border section. It's possible to land a team to inspect dry cargo and tankers. Well-trained and certified Azor soldiers listened to a farewell speech of their commander. Fair winds and following seas. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes. We're sure that good military preparation backed up by a modern high-speed boat will bring potential criminals' chances to naught. Watch next. Oath of Allegiance. One and a half thousand border guards swore to Ukraine and some to their wives. Did you order lit alcohol? Law enforcers exposed fake brand bottling plant. They say the true connoisseurs of lit alcohol can define forgery in one shot. I wonder if entrepreneurs took into account all the nuances when they started distilling and bottling moonshine. Let's see what's here. Oh, Irish whiskey, Greek brandy, Californian rum. But wait, all this elite alcohol was bottled and packed here, in the village of Rushka, in the Vinitsa Oblast. Well, entrepreneurs took a smart and fundamental business approach. Trademark cliches, pumps, purity water filters, seals, bottles and other industrial devices. All this, as well as 2,200 liters of ready-to-sell counterfeit, was found in an underground distillery plant exposed by border operatives. All elite alcohol produced in Hrushka was confiscated. I solemnly swear to the people of Ukraine to always be faithful and loyal to them. These are the words with which Ukrainian soldiers swear their allegiance to the state. The text of the oath has not changed since 1991. One and a half thousand young border guards have recently given their oath according to these words. The guys hardened at the test sites and in the classrooms, learned the entry points and border training section. Today, this solemn moment separates them from the true border. The graduates are very nervous. Sure thing, responsibility and dealing with smugglers and illegal immigrants lie ahead. In short, this is all about serving your native country. Be that as it may, it seems that some border guards are more worried than their brothers in arms. Why is that? The answer is that this day will be special not only in the military career, but also in the personal lives of two border guards. I thought that my girlfriend will never forget my proposal for marriage. After all, there is no need to hide emotions before the public. And who would refuse such a proposal from a romantic? It was very nice, unexpectedly. I will remember it forever. We sincerely hope that wives-to-be will become a reliable support for defenders of the Ukrainian border.